When I realized how much time had gone by since I last posted a video, it stressed me out a bit, which is great because I'm already under a ton of stress. And really that's the reason why I haven't posted a video recently because I have just been stressed to the max. Over the last few weeks since I got laid off from my job at the beginning of August, I have gone through a series of unfortunate events that frankly have put me into a state of depression. But... I've decided that I need to take control over the things that I actually can control. My name is Sarah. I have been sharing my health, fitness, weight loss journey here on YouTube since April of 2020. And since then, I have lost about 120 pounds with diet, exercise, and the help of a weight loss bariatric surgical procedure called VSG or vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I'd love it if you joined me on my journey by hitting that little subscribe button down in the corner. Don't forget to click the bell. That way you get a notification when I do upload a new video. And if you are part of the 2,800 people who have subscribed, big thank you. I appreciate you for following along on my weight loss journey. The crazy thing about depression is you really don't realize that you're depressed until the things that you normally enjoy doing become very unenjoyable. I feel like it kind of throws you off of your normal routine. At least that's been the case for me. So what had happened with me was, as you know, I got laid off the first week of August from my job that I loved. I had been there a little over a year and a half, but I quickly found another job, believe it or not. I had secured another job at, I think, just a few days after the layoff. I had been talking um, to another company about customer success, and as it worked out, they had a position to offer me. So that was in like the second week of August. And then I was supposed to start the new job right after Labor Day. So I think it was like September 5th or 6th, whatever the day after Labor Day was. Well, I got a call on Labor Day to tell me that the job I had had to be pushed back because they were waiting on some funding to come in. Okay, so I get it, it happens, especially in the startup world, and I really didn't feel too upset about it at the time. Of course, I was all excited to start the new job. You guys know I bought a whole new professional wardrobe because it was gonna be hybrid. I was ready to start. I didn't wanna be out of work. So I just, you know, held on to the hope that, okay, it's gonna be a couple more weeks and then, you know, I'll start this job and it'll be no big deal. In essence, I treated the month of August as like a paid vacation. I had gotten severance pay and I had enough savings to keep me afloat a while. So I didn't really do any job searching while I was waiting for the new job to start because I felt confident that I was gonna have this job. So fast forward another two and a half weeks after Labor Day and I get another call that that they're going to have to postpone filling this role indefinitely. So at this point, I go into full-blown panic mode. I don't have any other opportunities lined up for me. I haven't even really job searched all that much. And I just didn't know what I was gonna do. I was really upset because I was so excited to get this job and now basically that just wasn't happening. I would say this is where I started feeling like I was spiraling out of control. I was really, really upset about this. I had in essence wasted a month and a half of job searching time that could have been much better spent had I just known that they weren't going to be able to pay me. So I was angry, I was frustrated, I was upset. I was all of those negative emotions. And in this time period, everything just kind of went to shit. My eating habits went to shit, wasn't sleeping well. Everything went completely out of the window. All of those good habits that I worked so hard to build over the last year, just pfft, dead, done gone. And 
that made it worse because I was aware that I had worked so hard to improve on all of these things. And now I just, because one really bad situation happened, I just didn't care anymore. It didn't make any sense to me. And I'm still trying to figure out why I reacted that way. I don't really know. But one thing that is a central theme I'm noticing in my life is control. I have in my past been called a control freak by families, friends, coworkers, etc. And sometimes it's in a joking manner and sometimes it's not. And I am not too afraid to admit that yes, I do like to have control over situations. And obviously when there are situations that are out of my control, I freak out. Even way before all this, like in hindsight, I think that's why I struggled so hard with binge eating because I was eating out of control and not having control of my eating made me feel even less in control. And so since I couldn't control it, I got really freaked out and started this kind of like cycle of things I can't control, controlling my mindset and what I eat. And it contributed to all of the excess weight that I was carrying for so long. So I woke up this morning and I just decided that I am only going to worry about controlling the things that I can control. And that's three things. I can control what I eat, I can control when I sleep, and I can control how I move my body or exercise. And that's it. The only other thing that I can control is the number of jobs that I apply for, which obviously I am doing, but whether or not an employer chooses to interview me is just beyond my control. And I cannot, I cannot keep stressing out about it the way that I am because it's not helping anything. Probably the one thing that is keeping me sane during this time is my newfound love for the gym. Even though technically I really can't afford it right now, I'm managing and I'm sacrificing other things so that I can because it has really, really helped me to focus on getting stronger. I'm actually lifting weights consistently now. I think I've been doing it for about four weeks-ish that I've met my weightlifting goal every week. And really I'm already seeing improvements. Let's see if it's Let's see if it's noticeable on camera. I lifted this morning. I think you can see that that's pretty, pretty good for, you know, a baby lifter. I'm doing pretty well, I think. My weight is up a little bit and I know why. It's because I've been eating like absolute trash. I've been relying on snacks to comfort me and I don't wanna do that anymore. So I'm cutting that out. But my weight was previously fluctuating between 155, 160. Right now I'm seeing numbers from 160 to 165. So I'm still under that 100 pound range and I know if I just get my shit together, I will be completely fine. So I'm not panicking about that. I'm not even really too upset. I am exercising consistently. I just need to really work on what I'm eating versus even the quantity that I'm eating because I have the VSG and that kind of controls that. But I've still been making really, really poor food choices in a hope of getting some comfort Comfort from it and that like I'm able to look at that now with a completely different lens and see how absolutely ridiculous that is. So that is where I'm at right now. I appreciate you and those of you who reached out to me. Thank you so much. You're very kind and very sweet and very thoughtful. It means a lot to me. I'm doing okay. I will be okay once I get back to work. I know that everything is fine. I just have been really stressed and depressed lately and that's why I haven't made a video. If you made it this far in the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, go to the comments and leave me a comment with an emoji that represents your favorite color. I just wanna know, what's your favorite color? I appreciate all of the love and support on my channel. Thank you so, so much. And I hope to bring you a much happier, less stressed slash depressed video in the near future. Bye.